Hello and welcome to this EBTV video. Today I'd like to talk about an antiquated policy called It's Not What You Know, It's Who You Know. In my honest opinion, It's Not What You Know, It's Who You Know was a 19th century employment policy that, that the workplace should have gotten rid of many years ago. I worked in the broadcast industry for 22 years, mostly on the non-commercial and not-for-profit level. And I had to know someone in upper management to even have a chance at getting a job. No matter how hard you work, If you don't know anyone in, in upper management, especially the boss, your chances of landing a job in that industry are not very good. It's not what you know, it's who you know promotes codependency, which many psychological professionals consider unhealthy from a psychological standpoint. It also promotes corruption. I don't think it's right to that friendship should be the should be the determining factor in who gets hired and who, who doesn't. If you are hired because of, because you're friends with someone, that's that's cronyism, pure and simple. When you ask someone to get a job, that's patronage, and that and that to me is old-fashioned and it's not a 21st century policy. Now, if you are a relative of someone in station management or any level of the station hierarchy, that's nepotism. And in certain areas of the economy, nepotism is against the law. All the jobs I got in broadcasting were not because I knew somebody in the business. It was through my hard work. And by not knowing someone in upper management, I did not have much of a chance of landing employment in the industry. It's not what you know, it's who you know should also not be admissions policy to colleges or universities. The biggest example of this is, is the recent college admissions scandals that involved Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman. You should be admitted to school based on your hard work and your grade point average, not because of who you know. You should not be employed because of who you know. It's because of what's on your resume. I put 22 years of experience on my resume and sadly the commercial broadcasters especially the corporate ones threw that out it didn't count I the only thing that counted was knowing somebody in upper management like the program director 
operations manager or the general manager. The workplace, especially the broadcast industry, needs to join the 21st century and they need to get rid of the policy of it's not what you know, it's who you know. There is no place where it's not what you know, it's who you know in the 21st century economy. This is E.B. Stevenson for E.B. TV. Thank you for watching.